Now, speaking of gases, I have back here another gas that's very familiar to you because it's air. It's compressed air, and it's going through this rubber hose and coming out a little nozzle right here. And in this hand, I have what looks like a softball, or sorry, a baseball, and I'm going to put that in the airstream and then take my hand away and see if, sorry, and then see if I can make the ball remain there. And that's pretty remarkable. And that's happening because of something called the Bernoulli effect, named after Daniel Bernoulli, who was a Swiss physicist who lived about 200 years ago. And he wrote a paper explaining this. And it's because when the air goes over the top, it's going faster. And as a consequence, the pressure is lower there. And that's exactly the principle that makes airplanes fly. When the air goes over the top of the wing of the airplane, it reduces the pressure there. And that gives lift to the airplane. Now, you may not have compressed air at home, but I bet you all have a hair dryer. And we can do the same thing with a hair dryer and a balloon. So it looks like it's defying gravity. I can keep it there as long as the air is flowing. And then when I turn the air off, it, uh, it comes down. So that's the Bernoulli effect. Very important, and we use it every day when, we're, when you fly in an airplane.